Holy Potter can make. But Jay then chase there to make the fans them know what really are going Welcome on viewers and subscribers, Jaden Chase there with the latest entertainment and dance hall news and reviews viewers plus trending topics. Now viewers, two of the latest stories that make headlines today, Spice and Vibes Cartel back with trending number 5 at just 400,000 views while Shensia video at least 5.5 million without trending, no one fan hacks, how comes? And also viewers and subscribers, Tamilee is part of Spotted in Studio, not just as an artist, but also as an engineer slash producer. I add to the reading, I put a little piano vibes to it, viewers and subscribers, and know the something go. And we have the whole of that, and we are reminding you to click the subscribe icon, and then click the bell icon for stay notified with all our work going on in the dance and news and entertainment news as soon as the something happens. Now viewers and subscribers, the question there with the fan ask, yeah, a fan of Spice, she say, how comes? She can always see Spice views and when Spice a trend, you know what I mean? When Spice drop a big song, she always see trend. So she basically has say she can see say, you know, the ground actually supports Spice, meaning say the dance hall community, fans of dance hall actually a click like and a comment on Spice video. Now she says she noticed the Shensia go couple million well in a short space of time, just couple days in fact. Me obviously big up Shensia for the achievement too as well. But this person comment and say yo it look like a buy ramish by the views because she gonna say you know what i mean couple million views without trending but no it might look away you might wonder how come now we have good explanation viewers and subscribers while a trending video is definitely based on you know one viewership but that is not the only factor comments likes dislikes sheer repost these are the factors that go into yes making a song trend now our next thing on my cars are song not to trend even though it the millions of views and this kind of hard though this is not really something you can definitely explain but if a song is being viewed more in the country outside of where it was published because that's what when you upload a song you might consider it being uploaded or published when you click it Anyway, if you're up on the island in Jamaica, yes, and you upload a video in Jamaica, yes, but more, the most, most of your viewership are come from Thailand, Switzerland. It might trend in a Thailand and Switzerland, but not necessarily trend in a Jamaica. Now, with that being said, I figure more or less while all of the views they made have fall because Tiger was a feature upon the song. So you don't know all the people in North America, Canada, the world at large that click on it. I still assume say yo, the fact that reach a million, you just still have a next million out of the four million there. Whether it be Jamaicans, whether they click on a tab about the video. Well, obviously that is not it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it seems like that is not it. Because from the day when Blessed Drop, it should have trend for number one, the fact that go a million that same day. It should have been the number one trending. But as I said, the algorithm kind of do things different. So the reason we make a song trend is not only because of the views. It goes into the dislikes, the likes, and the comments that we are make. And the amount of people we are share them and how people are talk about them. So maybe it goes to show say your spice is still hotter than Shensia somewhat. Even with the million plus views. Now I like how spice angle the situation. Spice say watching you know, low my page with the drama and the negativity. Don't do that something upon my page. Spice say why you choose to ask this upon my page. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good look for Spice and the situation how she handle it. You know what I mean? Knowing say how right away people will start to say it's a dance hall queen versus a dance hall princess type of thing. And in a music right now you have to maintain good relations. You know one of them have it say Spice and Shensi and a good. So that if me as a promoter want to book Spice and book Shensi, I'm going to say alright. I'm going to choose one of the two because the two of them are good. You know what I mean? The two of them, them not deal. So, so my time right away, I'm in a booking stop. While you will see some artists more booked than some other artists because of the dance or relation with them have with other artists as well. So, people can't readily book them because the other artists them on the lineup, them and them in affliction. And people don't want nothing for happen at them show. People want them show go through smooth without a itch. 
You know why you say nothing I go on backstage and you show off a lock off or that artist that can't perform and you know one of them mishaps they go on when you keep your show. I just saw the thing go, you want the thing go too smooth as possible. Now if you drop in the comment section, I know how you feel. If you feel like say yeah. The person who comment have a point. Since you are trend, since you got millions without trend, spice a trend at 400,000. No, no, food for thought. Also, viewers and subscribers, as I'm promising, Tommy Lee Sparta in studio. I do the thing. Let me go now look at my corner store. Go on. Yeah, viewers and subscribers, Tommy Lee Sparta. At his finest, and some people might not know. So as an artist, all heap of effort go into the creativity or the production. You know what I mean? Or the creative process depends upon how you would have stated. Now, for most artists, yeah, you show up at the studio, hear a rhythm, bad rhythm, you vibe it. Probably you carry the rhythm home, forward back, I us, you know, record wherever you did freestyle or write down upon the rhythm. For some artists though, they more of a hands-on approach as some other people would have said. We just talked about Spice earlier on in the vlog. We see even Spice in the studio some of the time. I do this very same thing I would say Tommy Lee Sparta just do. Yeah. Some of the time, when they beat them, you might like it but you feel like so you need a little extra sound to it. A little piano sound this so, A little violin this so. You don't know. But as an artist, you gotta have the certain you have a certain sound in your mind or a certain aim for your project. And that shows say yo, you the total package as an artist. You're not just a work of a somebody else's vision. You are have your own input, a input on in the situation as well. So I'm like we see that aspect here when we see dance all artists in studio. Come as we see with whole heap of other genres of music. Enough other artists have a hands on approach. They will tell us they want the bass higher this or the bass lower this so that the, the, the fans or the listeners can hear or feel the emotion they might try to convey at that certain point of the song. While some people just decide to go to the studio and just vice whatever they can vice from whatever rhythm. Not saying those artists are not artists as well, but there are different levels to creativity. And Tamil is part of definitely one of the most creative artists in a dance hall right you now. But now I go around here. He's an artist that seems to continuously reinvent himself. His new project titled The Reincarnation and Fitting. As I say reincarnate yourself, we see Tommy Lee Sparta fought upon the scene and the Uncle Demon vibe. And we see yeah, him gain a wide fan base of fans. And then we also see some people that say, boy, he need to tone it down. But them time their bounty killer was one of the advocates that say, yo, tone it down with the devil and the demon thing. And G say, alright, I'm going to show them my versatility. I'm going to show them some of different, uh, different songs. I have all the songs to my catalog. And him start reinvent himself and give us some different type of songs. Different way out of the box, so we are saying, Tommy Lee Sparta, right? That, yes. Yeah, so, we see the artist when it comes to creativity, he's not afraid to reinvent himself for one or for add different elements of inspiration to the music. Now, with the style dance hall got, well, he's part of dance hall artists that search for that crossover sound. Tommy Lee Sparta is an exception to that because with him not just only being the only dance hall got artist, got. Is a whole subculture where bigger Europe and right around the world. So that being infused to the music within itself is already a crossover sound because people were overseas, were based overseas, not just residing over there, but live over there, born and grow over there. Them have something to relate to. When them see not just the Tamil East Sparta, when them hear the songs, see the music video, them realize the direction and them can definitely feel the energy. So without trying for crossover. Because that was the style from day one. Tommy Lee Sparta already ticked that check box there. And big up boss lady. Because she just found out and she put her money where her mouth there. And invest in the artists. And the album drop. And I do extremely well in her Europe. And if you never know. Tommy Lee's first project before this. I think it was, that was just an EP. That reached the billboard charts for reggae and dance. If you never did know. Yeah. So we are look forward to see. What will be the reaction to the reincarnation when it touch all major platforms all over the world? You know what I mean? Yeah. I will see Tommy Lee Sparta gear for the big music video. Many parts side shot overseas. Yeah, Europe the same place. So we are talking about as I mean tell you Tommy Lee Sparta big in other side of the world viewers and subscribers. Not just reggae, but also dance hall. And that's not easy for do because reggae definitely overshadow dance hall.
right across the diaspora, right across the world. You know what I mean? Because of the accolades where reggae artists have already achieved. Remember one of the most famous Jamaicans are Bob Marley. And that's a Rastafarian artist with the reggae. You know what I mean? So that's what the thing go. But for the dance hall artists and make, and make, put them stamp out there. And show them say, oh, yeah, reggae is a big thing from Jamaica, but we also have dance hall. You know what I mean? It's a good look. Big up family is part of an all the way I do right now. I'm a lot of the energy in studio, not just an artist, but also a producer, an engineer extraordinaire. You know, the something of yours and subscribers. So, I'm not enough to click the subscribe icon, click the bell icon. Remember, if you do that, something with the face of dance and entertainment, it depends on that. Click the subscribe icon. Leave a like on the blog if you like what you hear, but share. Drop your comment in the comment section. Until the reason, again, viewers, I'm out.